Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with some tips and information on night fishing off the shore. At the change of light, fishing can generally get quite good, just for a half hour period just after the sun goes down. Um, but when the sun goes all the way down and the night sets in, there can be some really good fishing. Particularly in shallow areas that during the day maybe there's some habitat there like kelp beds and uh, that sort of thing, but uh, you don't seem to get much activity. At the night time though, it can be a very different place. And particularly some of the places I go fishing around the Hauraki Gulf, uh, like Rodney, Hibiscus Coast, Whangaparaa, North Shore, those sorts of areas. Uh, it's often quite shallow in clots, so it's not particularly deep. But at night time, that's when the fish come in. And particularly in areas where there's like kinna beds, oyster mussel beds, uh, any sort of habitat there where there's little ecosystems and snapper are going to uh, find food basically. First of all, really important to understand, rock fishing can be very dangerous during the day. Uh, at night time it gets even more dangerous, uh, particularly because you can't see a big swell coming in and uh, you may not see a wave um, until it's actually pretty much on top of you. You do not want to be in the water in the dark uh, with a rescue party trying to find you. You will probably won't make it. So fish with a mate, check out the area during the daytime, check the weather forecast. There's some areas around New Zealand where um, night fishing and you know during the day there's not much swell, like you can see right behind me now, uh, we're up on the North Shore filming this. Uh, these sorts of areas are a really good places to fish during the night. Western side of Coromandel, the, uh, the Hauraki Gulf, uh, generally it can be pretty good. Other places like Eastern Coromandel, Northland and especially the West Coast, uh, night fishing is uh, something you only have to do in really uh, good conditions basically. What sort of fishing gear do I use? I like to beef my gear up. Now at night time, uh, big snapper tend to come in closer, uh, so I won't be fishing six or 10 kilo line, I'll be fishing more the uh, 15 kilo outfit, which uh, you know gives me a bit of extra muscle, extra bit of beef, particularly uh, big snapper in the shallows fight really hard, uh, very exciting. But also at night time, um, the sharks and the rays and the eels also tend to come out. So you don't want to be playing a shark for half an hour or a ray for half an hour. Uh, you want to uh, get those fish in fairly quickly, release them and um, then chase your other species. I also tend to use uh, heavier leader and bigger hooks and big smelly baits as well. Really good for um, catching those bigger fish. If you're fishing at night, you're definitely going to need a light source. Uh, headlamps are ideal for this kind of fishing and particularly models that have um, a larger light on the front and then possibly a lower beam or smaller light on the side. Um, they leave your hands free, excellent for fishing. Uh, what I find uh, really important is that if I ever have to turn my light on, I turn it on facing away from the water I try and minimise how often I use my light. Um, some snapper are okay with light, but some snapper it freaks them out. Uh, so I always assume that if I'm fishing off the rocks, that it's the you know the fish that will get freaked out by light uh, that I'm fishing for. I also like to take a, a second light source um, and preferably something that's a bit stronger than a headlamp. Uh, this one's about 400 lumens. Um, it's compact. It's really good. Sometimes if there's an emergency, I need to check very quickly if I've lost something in water. Um, having a stronger light source is actually really good. Um, it's always good to have a second light in case something happens with your first one. Sometimes um, your lights can get turned on in your pack and you get to your um, location and they don't work. Or worse still, they cut out at, you know, near the end of your fishing trip and you have to stumble back in the dark. It's not much fun. And also at night, uh, fish tend to hunt with their nose and less with their eyes. And so burly is a really good idea. The other good thing about fishing at night uh, with burly is that you'll often attract a school of mackerel. Uh, around the burley and they're fantastic for bait. Big snapper love them, small snapper love them. Lots of different fish love fresh jack mackerel. So if you can catch a fresh mackerel and use that for bait then uh, you'll probably get some into some really good fishing. Fishing at night I prefer to use spinning reels. They're easier to operate. Uh, with an overhead reel you do have to be able to see the spool uh, when you cast to be able to figure out when you need to put your thumb on to stop and overrun. Uh, so you need to either have your flashlight on, some people can do that by touch uh, if you're really really good but spinning reels tend to be just a bit less hassle for fishing in the evening. So the other piece of equipment I like to use when I'm out fishing is a bait bucket. These are fantastic because you can fill it up with uh, your bait, cut your bait up, put it in the bait bucket and you don't have to keep walking back to your gear to uh, bait up, you can just bait up where you are and I'll have a rag maybe hanging off my belt. The other piece of equipment I find quite handy is either take some squid jigs or take a squid fishing outfit to uh, target squid. Squid become more active at night and if you've got the burley out there's a good chance there'll be a squid around. So if the snapper aren't biting then chuck a squid jig out. Calamari is pretty delicious. And the great thing about fishing at night is that there's usually no one around to see you pulling a big fish. You don't want people knowing your spots. So that's another good reason to go fishing at night. So there's my tips and information for fishing off the rocks in the evening. Um, 
You'd be surprised if there's shallow areas that don't hold fish during the day. If there's enough habitat there for them to be there at night, there's a good chance they'll be there at night. So check it out. And to be honest, it's probably my favorite time to fish off the rocks uh, around the North Shore Hibiscus Rodney area. It's very productive. Some places I've been fishing, I've heard the uh, people in the houses behind me uh, as I'm pulling three and four kilo fish off the rocks. Um, but during the day, no self-respecting snapper would be found in that area. Again, a reminder for safety, don't take risks. Fish with a mate, check out the location beforehand, check the forecast, and if you're not sure, don't go out. There'll be another day to go catch the big one. Tight lines.